Boing is a physical education program for primary schools. Boing is actually PE. We are genuinely trying to make sure that young people can access physical education, they can become more physically literate and understanding their bodies so that they can use them more effectively. Oh, good thinking. Well done. The main problem with contemporary primary school PE is that it's focused on sports skills, fundamental movement skills and the children's competence at doing stuff rather than their confidence and creativity. I really enjoyed sport and so people like myself and others would have really enjoyed PE because it was basically sport. So sport's brilliant but it's exclusive, it's got teams, it's got winners, it's got losers, it's not inclusive and if we're not doing an engage then we're not learning. So to move from that exclusivity where you're looking for talent straight away and you're teaching a, a child to play a game, what I'd love to see is it be far more inclusive. Our offer to schools is, is really clear, a resources pack and a training programme for teachers to come on. OK, freeze! And you'll see fantastic teaching across primary schools, but the wrong sort of activities. And at the other end of the spectrum, you'll see a hands-off, I don't know PE, I'm not confident to teach PE, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let the children run around for an hour. 80% of children after 13 drop out of all physical activity and that leads to a 60% obesity rate with, within young people. That can only be dealt with right from the start. We might play stuff that looks like sport, but the minute we take out the fact we're playing netball, the, the discourse associated with, oh I don't like netball, or oh, I love netball, I'm good at netball, is gone. It's a new game, a new challenge. And they'll play a new game every week. Our current relationship with Oxford Brooks, primarily it's a research-based relationship to how best to do primary school PE. The kids love it, but that's only anecdotal. We want to stand in front of the government in, in five, ten years' time and go, could, could we teach PE like this? Look, we've done it and it works. What we're trying to do around Boeing is understand what impact a really good child-centred physical education has on those other aspects. Do they attend more? Um, does behaviour within the school change? So all this non-linear pedagogy stuff, no one's proved it works and it, uh, empirically because every time you then reduce something down to measure it, you're taking away the essence of what you're actually trying to do. You can't just measure how far they can throw, jump, catch. What the research community require and what the philosophy of the teaching approach is, uh, epistemologically and ontologically, are just completely separate. So we're saying it works. They were saying, what's your evidence? What's your proof? How have you measured it? At some point we've got to meet in the middle to create something that's valid and reliable that also is flexible and wide enough to, to meet the philosophy. We've carefully constructed a curriculum across the whole year, for every year in the school, informed around dynamical systems theory, ecological psychology, constructivist learning, uh, physical literacy and primary school PE. We've got a whole set of 108 what we call play games, which are bespoke made activities. One example of that is a game called Sharks and Fish, which sounds competitive, but the focus is all on how the fish work together to save each other. There's play and fun and chaos and running around and constant active learning time. Ah!